you really suck the poison out of a snake bite? This age-old question has intrigued many, especially those with a penchant for the great outdoors. But before you reach for your pocket knife and start practicing your suction skills, let's delve into the science behind the myth. The infamous cut and suck method, once a staple of cowboy lore and old adventure tales, has long been debunked. Cutting into a snakebite wound and trying to suck out the venom might sound like a heroic act, but in reality, it's ineffective and potentially dangerous. Before you can even begin to suck, venom rapidly disperses into the body system, making it virtually impossible to extract a significant volume. What's more, this method can cause more harm than good. Making an incision can lead to further tissue damage, and the act of sucking the wound increases the risk of infection. Applying a tourniquet, another outdated practice, can also be dangerous, as it restricts blood flow and concentrates the venom in one area, potentially leading to the loss of a limb in severe cases. So, what should one do when bitten by a snake? The first and most crucial step is seeking immediate medical help. While awaiting assistance, try to remain as calm as possible, remove any tight clothing due to possible swelling, and abstain from consuming caffeine, alcohol, or any drugs or pain relievers. These substances can increase your heart rate and accelerate the spread of venom. It's also helpful to remember the appearance of the snake to aid medical professionals in identifying the species and administering the appropriate treatment. What about identifying venomous snakes? Generally, venomous species have cat-like elliptical pupils while non-venomous snakes have round pupils. The bite wound itself can also provide some clues. Venomous snakes typically leave two deep puncture wounds, while non-venomous ones leave a horseshoe-shaped ring of shallow puncture marks. Interestingly, not all bites from venomous snakes are filled with venom. Up to a quarter of these bites are dry, meaning they contain no venom. Snakes can control how much venom they release, and they may choose not to waste their venom on you if you're too big to eat. Output. In conclusion, the cut and suck method is a dangerous myth, and immediate medical help is paramount in the event of a snake bite. So, the next time you're heading into the wilderness, keep these tips in mind, stay safe, and remember, don't try to suck the poison out of a snake bite.